what? Post Australia Day, doing things. Oh, that's a bit schmancy. All right, so the start of this video probably isn't going the way we wanted it to be. So on the way back to the coast, so that I've caught the old Falcon uh, battery light came on on the dash. Um, we did manage to make it home, but I've checked it this morning with a multimeter and it is, uh, you know, running at about 11.4 volts or something. So the alternator is a dead boy. So anyway, um, as you all know, our boy Jake upgraded his uh, AU Falcon to a RTV BF Falcon the other week. So I know for a fact he's got his AU sitting at his house and he's probably got a pretty good alternator on that, which is gonna get us down to Sam tomorrow at least. So I just need to get this alternator sorted so that we can go down to drop the Cressy down to Sam tomorrow and you know actually make it there and back. Um, so yeah. we're going up to Jake's place to flog the alternator off his AU <laughs> and uh, have a few brewskis and then we'll have to go back and put it on the big BA and um, yeah, hopefully it's all sorted and gets us to Brisbane and back. Oh, look at that gross traffic. There's an accident heading southbound on the highway and everyone's heading back from Australia on day long weekend. So that is just the suck. Gross. But gets, 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 gets oh, oh, some. Oh, oh, oh. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, you're a dog, relax, 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 <laughs> Stylish dog. <laughs> Righto, filthy job, but one AU alternator. Removed from the mighty AU skid machine. I put a little short in a Jake's shed skid. <laughs> Input that here. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Oh, a bit of rubber. So, anyway, Jake reckons this uh, alternator's not even two years old, so a bit of luck there. I gave it a big degrease because, uh, as with all AU specifically and Fords, the old uh, power steering pump has leaked power steering fluid all over it. So, quick degrease, make sure she's all good, and um, yeah, we'll have a few cold ones and then I'll head back and chuck it on the big mighty BA. Yeah, I want to buy some AU fans in working order for their patrol. A few AU thermos for sale, apparently. Well, oh, fucking 200 bucks or something. <laughs> <laughs> cool, dude. I'm gonna fucking hit you with my head, because I'm a fucking goat. Alrighty, so we managed ourselves another alternator from Jake. So big thanks to Jake for helping out of a helping us out of a tight spot there. So now we're gonna go home and put it on the BA, which is gonna be fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Oh yes. Also, we can tow this stupid low dumb car down to get some stupid dumb things done to it. Low dumb car is dumb and low. Dumb dumb dumb. dumb, dumb. Smacked up, mass. Not been smacked up bad. Yeah, so I don't know. They think must have just fallen off. It might have just been crappy weights. Yeah, I've just stuck them. They didn't feel real sticky. Yeah. I found the spots and I stuck them back on. But... So we came out here this morning before we left to go to Jake's place to get the alternator. And I just, I'll poke my head under here to have a look to make sure the diff wasn't leaking, which it isn't, which is awesome. That's uh, very good. Two thumbs up. And just noticed that uh, both rear, like a uh, heap of wheel weights off both rear wheels was just on the trailer. So they must have fallen off or Adam was pretty convinced that someone might have knocked them off or sabotaged him. Who would do something like that though? What a fucking asshole move. I know. Like, they're fucking, I don't know, they're real shit. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, so now he's got to replace this little nugget piece of poo. Which I'm pretty sure is exactly the same. But uh, just because of where they're situated on the Falcons, right next to the uh, power steering pump, which for Falcons have a habit of leaving, leaking in the first place, they're always just filthy. Look at this. If I rub my hand in here, oh, 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 just, you know, get it all up on a few things, boom. Not bad. Heaps fun job. So I bought an old shirt out for a rag. We got some beers, so it's okay. All right, we'll check back in when it's done. Oh, yeah, with the old. In with the not so old. Oh, slightly newer. It does look much better. All right, we're back in business. Much better than the uh, 11 odd volts that that thing was giving me. So time for a rebuild for that one. 
and a big thanks to Jake for this bad boy. And we are back in business, back to uh, get down to Sam tomorrow. So lucky we had this day free where we didn't have to do anything except for be hungover. Yeah, <laughs> and drink more beer. And we actually had a pretty good hungover productive day. Yeah. So. Got to see some goats. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot <laughs> complain. <laughs> Mighty Falcon's ready to go again. We get on another day. So. Alrighty, so we'll pack this stuff up. That one's going to go get rebuilt and that's going to be it for us today. And we'll pick this back up in the morning on our way down to see old Sam. Alright, catch you guys. Good day for it. Hmm. Genius. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's a genius. That's all crap that was left over from the old one. All labelled, ready to go. Nice. Yeah, I tried to label it as yep. best I could. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're just for the fans. Okay. Um, yep. The power that was run for the fuel pump was part. Mm. Yep, so they all fitted in pretty nice. Yeah, that, that wire is just down to the starter, but yeah, yep. that's a little boot. I thought I'd leave that on, I wasn't sure. Yeah, yeah so that's just the one that goes to the starter, so I can pull yeah. that one off and use the boot. Because what I might do is I'll probably incorporate the starter. I don't have to cut the boot or anything. Yep, yeah, no worries. What one would go in the Alrighty guys, so we didn't film as much as we'd like to at Sam's because we got too busy talking smack and uh, we were there for like an hour and Sam needed to do work so <laughs> pretty much uh, just wanted to go through the plan with you essentially. Um, as you've seen, car's been dropped at Sam to Sam at Whitey's Wiring there. Um, I'll chuck his Instagram handle up here and his YouTube channel and stuff. I'll chuck some uh, links in the description as well. Go and check out his work if you like. He does absolutely impeccable wiring, uh, custom looms, all that sort of stuff. Very busy man. <laughs> Uh, does very good work. So Adam's just decided he wanted Sam to do a whole loom, new ECU. We're going for a Link Storm ECU. Um, so a bit, you know, miles, miles better than the Microtech. Plus there's actually some factory support for the, the product. So made a lot more sense to go to a better ECU for the where the car's at or where it's ended up at from where Adam started. So definitely, uh, yeah, good idea to go to that good ECU. So one of Sam's custom 1J looms. This is going to be the fourth one he's done this month. So. Uh, yeah, plenty of JZ looms for Sam. But anyway, uh, that should hopefully have that back in about two weeks. Uh, at the time you're watching this, today is the 28th. Yep. 28th. Yep. Today's the 28th of January, so um, it's probably coming out a fair bit after this has been filmed. It's just because I've been backing up content heaps. But um, if you're looking for photos and stuff, head to head to his Instagram and have a, have a look at it. Give him a follow. And if you're in South East Queensland and you want any wiring work done, he's uh, certainly the best around. So good bloke too. Yeah, champion of a bloke. Anyway, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. Got nothing else really planned for today. Gotta to go drop my trailer off and go to some domestic crap, do some washing and things, so nothing exciting. So, it's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, I hope you look forward to seeing this Cressy actually on the road, because it's getting real close, and uh, Adam here's getting kind of excited, finally. Yeah, finally. <laughs> He's finally spending some time out of the garage for once. Yeah, and, not uh, dust. So yeah, we'll get it back, hopefully in two weeks, get it back. Um, Adam's gonna try and sort out someone to tune it. And then after that, he's gonna work on getting uh, Rady and Rego. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Smish, look, smish, subscribe. Leave a comment. Later. G'day, mate. <laughs> how are you this morning? Good, mate, how are you guys? Oh, good, sorry for dragging you into work. Oh, that's all right. I'm gonna pick up a beast. Yeah. <laughs> what a setup. <laughs> Killed start. Bloody hell, mate. Yeah. Not bad. You'll be a tuner yet. <laughs> oh, look at that.
To be able to load it onto the trailer yeah. <laughs> instead of dragging okay. it. Yeah, it's dragging it, pushing it, swearing at it. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank you very much, sir. Looks like a beta with all those different colors on it, mate. Nice. You put this on YouTube, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, well, if you want to see more of this uh, Supra, I'll put uh, the YouTube in the description. Fuck yeah. <laughs> 1J VVTI. What gearbox are you running? W58. 58, yeah. But, um, I think it'll blow up pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs> on the second, it's like crunching real bad. Oh, really? Oh, well, there's one way to find out. So this was originally a 2J aspirated? Yeah. Yeah, was it originally originally manual or originally auto? Yeah, originally manual. Manual, yeah. yeah. Very cool. So this is uh, pretty much white is wiring shop build. Yeah. Yeah. So car. their car. That's why they're here on a Saturday working on it. <laughs> so this is just uh, stock ECU. Yeah. Yeah. Just sitting there. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, as you can obviously see, uh, Chrissy now has a Link ECU. Big thanks to Sam at White is Wiring. Oh, champion. Hooking that up and, uh, you know, doing an awesome job wiring all in. He even got the base map on it to run right so it actually drives better than it ever has now so you can load it in the trailer in one go yeah one go without it stalling or doing anything retarded so awesome that that's done now that's given adam a big uh whopping kick in the ass for motivation yeah so you know as you can see the car is ready for a tune now which as you know just means it's very very close to being done adam's got a few little things he wants to do he's got to make a heat shield for the like the masters off the dump pipe he's going to heat wrap the dump pipe um, he's got a few things that he wants to sort out before it gets tuned. Mm -hmm. yep. But 
for the most part, it's it's you know it's getting pretty close. <laughs> and then obviously paint, which we talked about. Uh, he, he doesn't quite want to paint it yet until he's driven it a little bit first. So yeah. that way he can drive it without being scared of scratching it and stuff for a little while. Yeah. Have some fun, get the feel of it. Get it registered, get it painted after that. But anyway, absolutely awesome job. Um, I'll, thanks, Whitey's Sam. Yeah, massive thanks to Wat uh, Sam at Whitey's. Uh, like I said, I'll put his YouTube somewhere. It'll be either in an info card or in the description or both. Um, so you can go have a look. He's sort of starting to, to video a fair bit of the shop builds that they do as well, like that Supra that was there. So um, yeah, he's sort of going to start putting a bit more YouTube stuff out. So go and give his channel a, a, a geese, have a geese at it, have a look. And um, yeah, but I'll, I'll, when we get it home and unload it, we'll do a proper look at the actual loom because I don't think you could see much in the shop. I haven't looked at the footage on the phone yet, but uh, I think the shop was too dark. Shop. Yeah, so when we get it unloaded, we'll uh, go over the loom, but super super stoked it's gonna be awesome yeah it runs now <laughs> <laughs> Yay. what a creature put him in the back seat if you like one <laughs> oh. so the best part about this is we don't have to push it anymore <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can just go drive up the driveway into the shed. Doesn't have to get pushed. We can see if it's going to hit. Oh, actually, Adam's not going to put it in the garage, so we can't yeah, see if the exhaust not, hits or not. I'll, do, I'll probably wash it, maybe, and then I'll do it later, yeah. All right. But yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get it on the driveway at least and give you a good look at what Sam did as far as the loom goes. Ta boys! Good looking combo. I reckon Adam should buy himself a falcon. How did you go? Did you empty your ass? <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, cheers, mate. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> I emptied my ass, but I do have to flush it again. <laughs> I do have proof it's fully filled back up. <laughs> Repugnant, eh, Toby? Disgusting. It's <laughs> <some> cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. That Mac, it, seriously, every time I get anything with milk from Maccas, it just fucks me. Just, yeah. Hello, Borb. Burby. He's like, get that three eyed thing away from me. <laughs> daylight we can show you how hard it is to see this damn loom yeah <laughs> which i guess is a testament to how good of a job he did tiny wiring yeah which is true. all like really well hidden um it's actually really hard to see got that down there so the actual loom comes out there goes out the back and then you've got two sub harnesses for the one for the coil packs one sub harness for the injectors so the reason Sam does that is obviously if you change injectors or coil packs, it's very then easy to change the sub harness to suit the 
the new upgrades rather than have to you know pull the whole loom out or do it on the car you can just pull the sub harness out and repin it or replug it or whatever you need to do so very very nice work very subtle hidden yeah. Complements the rest of the work that's gone into this car very much, methinks. Yeah, the, I like like the the wrapping on it, like how it's like super tight and like black with like the little I don't know, the little line. Like, yeah, I just like the texture. <laughs> I, I like the texture. Then I just nerd out on weird shit like this. I don't even get me started. Like how thin it is. Like yeah, compared that's, that's to the, the thing. Is it's so so thin. It's thin and tightly wrapped. Like I like things tight. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I was talking about the wrap and the wheel fitment. You know, I don't know what you were doing. Grub. Get your mind out of the gutter. Hey, your mind's in the gutter. <laughs> kind of nice if that there fitting was black. Which fitting? That one that's red and blue. Uh, <laughs> suck my ass. <laughs> if you ever see this car in public, tell Adam about how nice that fitting is right there. I will fucking replace it. I need to get a timing cover too, because that's blue. And that bugs me. So that need, once that's black, and then... We've got a pier steering leak. Oh no. You can see Sam also pulled out the analog gauge for the fuel pressure and it's actually got, uh, the link has fuel pressure reading as well. Yep. The map sensor's hidden up there behind the coil tower. Yep. So we got Very nice. Intake air temp, fuel pressure temp, or oil fuel pressure. Fuel pressure temp. Let's retry that one now. Fuel pressure. <laughs> we have oil temperature and oil pressure. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Very informative. Thank you, Adam. Yeah. So another thing to add, which we forgot to talk about, is Sam actually did put in future provisions for a flex fuel sensor. So there is a two-pin plug down there for a flex fuel sensor input. A uh, three-pin. Three-pin. Um, and a two-pin for if Adam does ever decide to actually go to a idle air control valve, uh, some sort of aftermarket one or standard one that will fit, he can run an idle air control valve as well. But the cold start seems to be alright, so... Yeah, cold starts alright, and it comes down off idle, okay, so... Um, but yeah, yeah, the, so there's a pin there so that if uh, Adam likes, he can put a flex fuel sensor into the return from the reg. Yep. And actually put this thing on flex fuel and run E85. Yep, and then I've got another one over here for electronic boost control as well. Oh yeah, boost solenoid for later on as well, so a few little uh, things integrated into the loom for future yeah. upgrades, potentially. Thinking which is ahead. awesome that he's sort of talked that through with Adam and made sure that was all good. Yep. For when you built the loom, so only have to do it once. Do it once. Do it right, eh? That's right. It's easy as that. So, boost controller, mount it, plug it in. Obviously, <laughs> the uh, the Link Storm has the provisions to run all of this stuff as well. So, yeah, made sense to put it all in. It's just that Adam didn't want to spend to spend the money to actually put the flex fuel sensor in and the boost solenoid and everything else. Now was going to cost Adam like another $1,000. Yeah, you think about sensors and all that sort of yeah, shit. Yeah, so Adam decided to just keep it simple for now. Just keep it, obviously, 98 tune, run it off uh, boost T yeah. on, a, on a single boost setting and um, just, just pretty much run it pretty basic for now. But all that stuff is there for future for if he wants to upgrade. Yeah, I want it nice and reliable, just a nice, easy street car. Uh, it's got the potential there if I want to go, like, go crazy with it, but I don't want to go crazy with it just yet. Yep. This is a street car, so... <laughs> so next job for Adam is to mount all this up and put his glove box back in which actually hasn't been in the car for like over a year now yeah I don't even really remember how it all goes together nicely or... so it'll be alright <laughs> oh, but anyway getting close Yeah. getting close pretty good pretty good Rightio guys, so as you can see, pretty awesome job. Running awesome, running better than it ever has. So definitely yeah. a lot better than it did with the Microtech in it. Um, and it's still, and it's got dirty plugs yeah. in it too. And everything works, unlike yeah. the Microtech, which obviously has an issue. But anyway, uh, if anyone is interested in buying the Microtech, Adam does have it for sale, like Microtech, the uh, hand controller, the full loom, all the suits, JZ. Uh, can even come with the 1J coil packs. Yeah, like. it will. Yeah, um, I've got no use for them now. So, pretty much full 1J setup if you want to do it. If you want to be bothered to try and get the fuel pump relay thing in the ECU fixed. Alternatively, you can buy aftermarket setups that actually run the fuel pump uh, in the car, or like an aftermarket controller, if you like. But Adam just couldn't be bothered. Yeah, I wanted to upgrade. This is a much 
better advanced ECU, or I get a better tune on it, so. But. So anyway, that's gonna be the end of this video. Pretty awesome to see this car, you know, doing stuff, coming along, getting close to completion. So uh, thanks for watching, keep an eye out for the next one. Hopefully we'll be tuning it fairly soon, soon enough anyway. So yeah, hope you're enjoying, catch you later. Plus, plus. Also, don't forget to check out Sam's Instagram, Whitey's Wiring Instagram, and their YouTube channel. Have a look at some of the work that they do. It's absolutely awesome. So, catch us later, guys.